speaker, I'm pleased now to recognize the gentlelady from Washington, member of the Judiciary Committee, Ms. Delbini, for one minute. The gentlewoman from Washington is recognized for one minute. Thank you. I rise to urge my colleagues to oppose this sweeping anti-choice bill, which would deny premium tax credits to income-eligible women and families if the insurance they obtain under the Affordable Care Act covers abortion, except in cases of rape, incest, and a woman's life being in danger. What experts in the healthcare industry predict, and as one of the witnesses at this month's judiciary hearing testified, is that the burdensome regulatory requirements contained in this bill would have a chilling effect and lead to insurers dropping abortion coverage from their plans. While this bill provides a narrow exception if a woman's life is in danger, unfortunately it would not allow any exceptions to protect a woman's health, even in circumstances where she needs an abortion to prevent severe permanent damage to her health. Each patient is different, and legislators cannot know the circumstances of every pregnancy. They should not interfere in personal, private medical decisions that should be made between a woman, her family, and her doctor. I urge my colleagues to oppose H.R. 7, and I yield back. The woman's time has expired. The gentleman from Virginia.